Hello, it's Mark, known as Two Dog RC. I'm going to show you how I set this new Alpha or the new Flight One version one, I guess, up. I've got a lot of people asking me how and what I did and why. So basically, I'm running D Shot 600 because I wanted the fast Copa. It it doesn't have to switch back and forth from multi shot to D Shot. It's on Bo Heli S, and then here's my PIDs. A four. This is a 6S to 5 inch GTM 250 running 5046 props on 2207 1750 KV motors. And this is my freestyle setup, so I got my RC smoothing a little higher. TPA is the default with the smart curves off, they're, they're off by default in this. So here we've got two filterings this is gyro filtering. And this is D-term filtering, two different things. Default is gyro smoothing off, so I just left it off. The filter type for stage one, you've got a couple options. And this gentleman, I think you pronounce it Sievert, is posted that he really liked the performance of the uh, predictive filter. So that's kind of what I started with. And then he also disabled stage two. Uh, you can run the more filtering here, but remember, the more filtering you have, that's more lag and processing power and delay. So this is, and the cool thing about predictive filters, you just turn it on and you're done. Now the D-term filter is a little different. The default is the bi-quad filter, which is about the middle in the strength of filtering. According to Sievert, uh, the strength of filtering, the most filtering is the FIR, then bi-quad, and then frequency filtering is the least. So this is the default and then stage two is disabled. So the defaults here are 70. And what does that mean, 70? Well, let's look at a log here. So here's a log of a flight. This is looking at the yaw axis and looking at the spectrum analysis. This is from the black box viewer from beta flight. It works on race flight. You just don't get your throttle data down here. So that 70 means that Right about here, it's 70. Let's see if I can pull it down to 70. Yeah, kind of. So right here is where that filter would start under the defaults. So it filters from 70 and then everything this way. And according to Sievert, the, the closer you have the, the filter away from zero, the farther you have your filter number set this way, the less filtering and the better it's gonna fly. And also, it's going to be less delay because filtering is uh, a phase delay. It's, it has to take the data, filter it, and spit it out. So what I did, and one of the gentlemen, I can't remember. Uh, let's see here. I can probably get his name. Uh, he suggested putting it, here it is, uh, Jekyll FPV. He suggested starting at 200. So I, I figured I better check this out. So what I did is I went flew in multi-shot, downloaded the log, and I looked at everything. So if we go to roll, now roll, this looks all good down here, and it's saying my max motor noise is at 212. Well, I want I put my filter actually at 200 because that's going to start here and filter this way. So that's going to filter this 212 noise area. So as you can see in my filters on roll, it's 200. Now what I did do this, I changed the roll to 200. I hovered, landed real quick, tested the motors. If it's not right, it's gonna get hot. So if my motor noise is over here, and I put my filter at 400, that means none of this stuff is getting filtered, and I'm only filtering this stuff, which means you could get a lot of noise and a lot of hot motors. So just if you change one thing at a time, hover, if it's not hot, go fly a short little flight, land, test it again. And then if it's still not hot, you know, do a little bit more. So if you look at these, the roll, and here's the uh, pitch. Now pitch, I did at 200, and there's nothing. So I moved it up to 250. I might even be able to move it up a little more. I haven't played with it quite uh, a lot that much more yet. But um, as you can see, there's not much noise, and it's saying all my noise is up here. So you know, it's it doesn't need to be down here at 70. So I moved my filter up here, which gave it a very nice feel. This, this ship flies very well. 
it's, it flies like the first time I fly a race fly. It doesn't fly like the 590s. I didn't really like those. So here's my yaw. As you can see here, my yaw I set at uh, 215. But I really could move this up a little bit. I just saw this little spike here and wanted to keep it in here. But it's saying most of my no motor noise isn't the 336. But this looks a little active. So I just kept my filtering to start about 215 and it's covering all of this stuff. And that's how I set my filter frequencies using the Betaflight black box log. I don't even know if you can still get that because it was a Chrome app. I don't know if they've got a standalone on I'll see in post it.